Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone if you want to get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. All right, Virgo, let's get into your weekend reading for October 13th through the 15th. <clears throat> Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, don't forget to join me Friday evening for a Friday the 13th spooky horror chat story that we're going to share. And everybody is welcome to join in the chat. I'm not going to be answering any questions, but Super Chat donations are always welcome. If you would like to participate in the chat, please do subscribe to the channel. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, Friday's looking like the axe. <laughs> wow, that's apropos for Friday the 13th. A little um, Jason energy happening here. Breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, abandon. That's so creepy. I can't even believe that's showing up. <laughs> All right, so, okay. Then you've got karmic relationships showing up here on Saturday and then for Sunday. Let's see. You've got, oh, addiction. Oh my gosh, looks like a great weekend so far, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. What's going on Friday? Okay, giving someone the axe. You're giving someone the boot this weekend, Virgo. You're breaking something up. You're stopping some kind of pattern. <clears throat> yep, you've got the world. You're putting an end to something here for sure. Out with the old, in with the new. You're walking away from something on Friday. It looks like you're cutting down the cherry tree, Virgo. Yes, you are. And you're making plans or you're... Look at that. I can't even believe it. These cards are very similar, similar because they have the four pillars. Here, okay, making huge change that's favorable to you, whatever that is. Now, these could be your thoughts, um, stopping the pattern of, you know, whatever you used, the way you used to think, changing that, thinking new thoughts. Um, you've learned the lesson, completing the goal, completing the lesson, having a new beginning for sure. And that world. This is kind of a, a slow energy, so this might be something happening in your thoughts beginning on Friday where you're slowly thinking about giving something the ax to make some kind of change or to make way for something new um, where success will be guaranteed for you, for your future. Um, it's all about completion that's favorable to you, bringing good luck, good fortune, you know, in, in uh, the, like, like to have the wheels start moving in your life. These are very profound cards, these two cards, the world and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so you could be, uh, you know, it's very fixed energy. So, but it's funny because the world turns, the wheel turns, right? So in order for the wheel to turn, it has to have... Um, it has to be in a, it, a, it has to be stabilized, right? It has to have a fixed has to have something fixed around it for it to turn, um, or else it just kind of spins out of place. You know, it just goes all over the place, right? So this energy makes me feel like, you know, like like the planet has gravity in order for it to spin in place. The wheels of a car are stabilized. The structures. Everything is stabilized in order for things to um, spin properly. And I feel like this is about getting stabilized, putting structures in place in order for things to move forward for you. And I feel like this is either you're actually, you've already established your structures and now you're going to start turning the wheel to move or you're putting your structures in place 
so that you can fit the wheels to get going, right? So, so you're definitely either like you're breaking up with someone or you're breaking up some patterns or separating yourself from, you're cutting the strings, cutting the cords, okay? Some of you starting with some silent treatment or abandoning a situation, um, giving up and starting from scratch, that kind of energy over the weekend, beginning on Friday, okay? I just want to get another card here. Um, I'm not really sure why. I kind of feel like that's a very strong message, but I'm just going to take another peek here to see what's going on. Just one more little peek. And don't forget you guys to go over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel, um, where I also upload daily readings there. They're collective readings, so it's kind of a two-for-one. Oh yeah, well okay, so they're just going to keep confirming it. This is all about an, a lifestyle change for some of you. Okay, Knight of Swords energy. Going after what you want, being clear and concise and being direct about what you need to do. Okay, um, or what you want. Or, you know, just kind of like getting clear and becoming more direct about what you need to do, what direction you need to go to make this change in your life so that it benefits you, right? Um, I feel like, I feel like there's um, some Virgos here that are doing something different where they're making a decision to be selfish, um, which is kind of not really Virgo's energy most of the time um and it might feel a bit uncomfortable <laughs> for you for virgo in general to be a bit selfish um selfish doesn't make you mean you know um i feel like if you can help people that's a good thing um <laughs> If, but the key word is if you're able to, but if you're not able to, because you're unable to, you shouldn't feel guilty about that. Um, I don't know where the guilt would come. Um, if you're unable, I always find like, if I'm unable to help someone, I try to find someone who can, <laughs> you know, that way I'm still trying to find a way to help them. If I can't, you know, I'll, I'll try to redirect it. Um, I, I don't think, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but if I can't help someone, I, I try to call, I try to, I'll always say, well, I can't help you, but I can see if I can find someone else again. You know what I mean? That way, because I don't like the feeling of guilt. <laughs> and then there's times where I'm just kind of like, I'm really like, if there isn't anybody, I'm just sorry, I can't. And then I'll just have to pray for you. I'll just pray for you. Yeah. So it looks like Friday is profound for you. You're really getting the hamster wheel. Your ticker is going, the wheels turning, and you're axing something. You're axing something. Yeah. Yeah, Jason. Get your ski mask, right? Is that Jason? The ski mask? Friday the 13th? Yeah. You're axing something on Friday. Maybe you're going to Halloween party. Okay. So, let's see. Now, Saturday, the karmic relationship is showing up. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Oh, this might be connected. So for some of you, maybe you're letting go of a karmic. That could be part of this Friday energy. Oh, look at that. That's kept you restricted. King of Cups is here. Could be um, a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Wow. That's a sense of feeling kind of, that's like rejection. False starts, delays, brutality. Okay. Letting go of a king of cups. Feeling rejected by a king of cups. False start, karmic kind of thing. Um, you, you might feel rejected by this King of Cups. I feel like this is kind of tying in here for you. They don't have to be the sun sign. So just keep that in mind. Um, 
this could be um, anything anywhere in their chart, but the King of Cups, let me just say, wherever their placement is, um, I don't know if you're you're being rejected, but I do see here there is this uh, this Eight of Swords energy is kind of rough, you know. This is like definitely low self-esteem. This Eight of Swords is this is rough energy here. This is kind of feeling restricted, imprisoned, having some mental issues, struggle, stuff like that. The rejection. Uh, the King of Cups does not share their emotions generally. They, they keep it real deep inside. Pretty stoic. There could be a sense of this person uh, rejecting you because they don't share how they feel. Okay? It could be any sign. Um, there's no expression of emotion. Um, they're just kind of there. Just kind of there. Look. The feet look at all the water around the king of cups okay so whoever this person is to you there's all this water heavy up and down turbulent water the ships rocking up and down the 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 fishes in and out of the water the whales diving in and out that water's rocky the king of cups is sitting on like the cement throne and like his feet like he doesn't even have his foot in the water he's steady He's not moving, not sharing anything, no, nothing, no. The emotions represent water. You wouldn't even know. He had an emotional bone in his body. Yeah, well, you know, people don't share how they feel or open up and express themselves. This is very avoidant kind of a person, very avoidant, whatever their sun sign is, whatever their sign is, very avoidant. <coughs> And you're, it looks like you're trying to let go so you can, you have to love yourself here. Because this person, whatever's going on inside, I don't care how much they love you. If they can't express it, they can't share it, uh, how are you supposed to know? What are you, a freaking mind reader? <laughs> like, no. It's not your job. It's not your responsibility to read people's minds. If that were the, if that were the case, if we all had that power... We would all be, I don't know how we would be. Would we be better off? I don't know. That's the question of the day. I don't think I'd want to know. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, that might be the person that you're ax axing. <laughs> I must ask you a question. Do you love me? Because it sure don't seem like it. So it looks like you're getting on with your life. That's what it looks like, Virgo. Whether you're with this person or not, you shouldn't have to ask, Virgo, if someone loves you. And if they say that to you, you should just know that's bullshit. No, we're, we're adults. You shouldn't just know. If you have to ask, there's a problem. Yeah, there's a problem if you don't feel loved. If you don't feel valued if you don't feel cared for okay so Sunday you've got addiction here okay um, codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraint five of cups all right so what are you left with here <laughs> okay the habit of a relationship that you know you've been stuck with for so long Trying to um, get something from that you should have let go of a long time ago, maybe, or that you're still reeling from. Yeah, you've been in a partnership with someone for a long time. Um, you got to deal with some codependency issues. You got to deal with that block that was placed on you. You got to deal with your um, your grief of feeling unloved. This is heavy, but you're making the right choice. If you're making a decision, if you feel you've done all you could do, if you feel you've loved the best to your ability, if you feel 
that you've tried, if you feel you've spent a lot of time trying to decipher or read the code or try to look for signs that somebody loves you because they couldn't express it or they couldn't tell you or because they were avoidant, if you feel you've done the best you could do, sometimes you just got to call it quits. If you've done things you never thought you would do, if you've gone to hell and back, it may sometimes just be like if you danced around someone just trying to get even a sliver of love or just an expression or just to feel like something. You've done too much. You sold your soul. Sometimes people are just not capable and there's nothing you could do. You can love them till you're blue in the face. And you could drain your energy. But sometimes people are just not capable. And that's not your fault. And sometimes people are just born incapable. It may not have anything to do with how they were loved or not loved or how they were raised. It could be the way they were born. You know, you just don't know, you know? But it doesn't matter because what matters is how you feel. And so you got to give that love back to yourself, I guess. So I kind of feel like this weekend is a real awakening kind of thing. You know, well, what's best for you? And really taking a look at yourself and thinking about like, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to get through this weekend? And like, what do, do I really, and I know this is pretty specific. It's not going to be for everybody, but I feel like some of you are looking at this situation. Like it might be time for me to like get in my car and get going, you know, make them moves here. That's what that chariot is, you know, looking at this love relationship, this partnership. You know, this decision I made to love this person. And maybe it's time that um, I get some distance. Or maybe it's time that I just move. The, the chariot is about movement. Keep on moving. Don't stop at the hands of time. Tick tock. Action and change. <clears throat> Action and change. Okay, you've got treat, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, it looks like it's time for you to retreat. Or it's getting time. Or you need to pick a time to like get some distance, retreat. It's crazy. I just had this conversation today. It's time to pull away. Get some clarity. Figure out what you need to do if you haven't done it already. If you're in the middle of it, uh, in the middle of it, some of you have already did the first stage of the axe. You know, cutting the, cutting down a tree takes more than just one chop, right? More than just one chop. Sorry, I'm on like this crazy uh, allergy type medicine and <laughs> kind of like can't talk. <laughs> yeah, it takes it's more than just one chop. Some of you are like chopping through still you're not fully done some of you started chopping and then you put the chop the axe down and you kind of dilly dallied a little bit or maybe went back and then you pick pick the axe up again started chopping away again so let me see what else you have here okay to recapture romance Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So playfulness. So this kind of makes me feel like some of you, I said I was going to retire these cards, but guess not. Some of you really need to just get back to your playful selves because I feel like you have a lot of love to give. Um, if someone wasn't returning that love to you, they might have in the beginning, like when you connected with this person, there might have been a lot of fun and playfulness in the beginning. Um, and then when, once they got you, they stopped. They stopped loving you or they stopped whatever. They, they might have just, I don't know what happened. Sometimes that happens. Um, or they just went cold or I don't know what happened. But the play, playfulness, like playfulness and joy and laughter is what makes relationships the best. If two people can laugh together, the relationships are always so much better. Um, 
I'm not telling you to get all laughy laughy with this person. I don't know because they look like they're kind of a miserable turd, honestly, like a real jerk face with that stoic face. Like, you know, like when you tell a joke and somebody just stares at you, they don't smile. Like, doesn't, like, wouldn't, like, what's the matter with you? Just freaking crack a smile or something? What's the matter with you? You, you moody jerk face, you stop. That's what I feel like, like I can't with this reading. That's what I feel like this person is like a miserable, like, ew, go in the other room. Just get away from me. Just, I'm going outside to do cartwheels. Leave me alone. Like, can we all just laugh and be happy, please? Okay. <laughs> Somebody's very moody. Gemini, Cancer. Yes, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. For some of you. Um. All right. We're hitting 20 minutes. I did that reading yesterday. That was an hour long. Hardly got any hits. I feel like those hour long readings, people don't have the patience. So yeah, we're going to aim. I'm just going to leave it there because it's a weekend reading. It wasn't all great. I feel like you guys just, for those of you that resonates for, take your weekend, chill, relax, <clears throat> do what you need to do. If you're going to a Halloween party, dress up like Jason, keep the momentum going for sure. Friday the 13th energy. Um, but if you're not going to a Halloween party and you want to join me here in the live chat, because I won't be at a Halloween party. I'm not going to be in costume. I'm not going to be on the camera. But I am going to tell a spooky story. And then we're just going to have a little chit chat and a little fun. And I will be engaging back and forth with you guys. I'm not doing a, I'm not doing readings. Okay? No personal readings. I'm not doing a Q&A. <clears throat> so if you show up in my channel and you post a question with a super chat... I'm not answering the question. I'm going to take that as a donation. I can't return Super Chats. I can't return it. It goes to YouTube. So if you send me a Super Chat with a question, I'm not answering questions and I can't refund your money. So just know that ahead of time. That's going to be a donation because I can't refund it. You're going to have to get a hold of the people who own YouTube and tell them. I can't do anything about that. I don't own YouTube. All right, you guys. So keep that in mind. I'm not doing questions. I'm going to have that posted. No questions. But it's going to be open to everybody. Okay. And so if you moderators, let them all know. Okay. So we're just going to tell a, a spooky story. Friday the 13th. As long as a lot of, there's a lot of um, news stuff going around. I don't know what's going on in the news. And there's a lot of chit chat going on for Friday the 13th here in the U.S. and all over the place. So hopefully everything's going to be good. And we'll just have a good time. All right, you guys. So enjoy. I will see you up back here on Friday. Take care. Bye.